Hi there. Perplexity just released Pages, which is its new interface that allows you to essentially create publishable pages on the internet using AI as a main reference point. So it's a very interesting tool that in a way kind of competes with Wikipedia, but also is just a fascinating tool that you can use as an internal wiki for your own research, as well as publishing your research in a way that uses AI as the main partner. So let's jump into it and I'll show you exactly what we mean with this. So here we are in Perplexity Pro. So you should have a pro subscription in order to access this. And this is the main interface where we can just essentially ask questions and do our research. And of course, there's a Discover page which has their kind of news site. And then there's your own library where you can access all the different research that you've previously done. Now within that, you're gonna get a new thing now. So collection is where we're creating our different collections, where we're putting down different threads of research that we're putting into one collection. So here I'm doing general AI research and this has like multiple different threads about AI research that I've been doing. And then threads, which is where we're here, where we're just you know starting a new thread. But here within library, we've got a new tab, which is the page tab. So if you click on the page tab, you can essentially start from here and create a new page. It's really awesome my opinion. It makes it really fun to do the research rather than having to go through a chat interface. This is an, a better experiment in how to do it. So here, let's say that I want to research the global mobile phone market. Even just by typing that in, it's going to start the research for you. It's going to start writing. It's going to do all that. It's going to put it all here. So it's using the same machine learning AI tools to do that research, right? The same thing that Perplexity was doing previously, but now it's using this different format where it's putting it all in a page that is editable that you can eventually share as well. So it's gonna take a minute or two to do all these different sections. So as you can see, it's citing these sources. It's got three sources for me. I can see them on the right here and I can click in on specific sources and you know that takes me over to the website itself. And then it's gonna populate another section. So here I've got impact of macro and economic challenges on smartphone sales, emerging markets and their influence on global shipments, and then the role of AI in future smartphone development. So that's three main sections that it decided to create just based on my title here. But let's say that I don't like that. Maybe I want to create another section. Maybe impact of macroeconomic economic challenges and smartphone sales is not actually where I want to start. And I'm going to start going in here. And this is essentially a thread within a page, which allows you to add a section into the larger page document that you've created here. So in this case, what I'm going to do is say growth of smartphone sales since 2007, the intro of the iPhone. And now I've created a new query for it to add another paragraph or two right here in between the main introduction that I've got in the very beginning and then the impact of macroeconomic challenges on smartphone sales here. So as you can see, it's kind of adding and I can just keep adding wherever I want. I can also jump in here and edit, right? I can make it more concise. I can make it more detailed. I can also add a table. So here, let's say I wanna make it a list and I'm gonna click in on here and I'm gonna change that. So I've asked it to essentially make it more detailed and make it a list. And there we go. So now it's changed that into a list and it's gonna be a lot more detailed than it was before. And here I'm gonna say, the future of smartphone development. That is going to be the concluding section for us. So if I had more time, I would spend, let's say, hours really just kind of going through here, adding sections, deleting sections. And as well, there's a few more editing tools that you can do where you can essentially add media and text. You can add media only. You can change all of these things to give it more volume, etc. right? So you want to give it, you know, a more presentation format or do you want it to be more of a report research format, etc. So that's all within your discretion. And it's going to populate the outline here as well as all of these different sections and their sources. Now from here, what do you do? Now, if I spent hours and hours, then I, it gets to a place where I really want it to be, then all I have to do is click on publish. Boom, that's immediately ready. As you can see, it copied my link here. I can also click and copy here. I can share it on Twitter, Facebook, or WhatsApp, but let's see what that looks like in my web browser. So now I'm in incognito mode, so I'm not signed in, and I'm going to copy and paste that link that I had over there right into here. There you go. This is what it looks like if you're not logged into Perplexity, but it's widely available to anybody. As you can see, you don't have to be signed in to see this. So it's publicly available for everybody to see your research. You know, so maybe you want to connect this and link this to your website or your social media or whatever. And that's kind of an interesting way that Perplexity is going about allowing you to position your research, publish your research differently than what you 
usually have with just a private thread between you and Perplexity Pro itself. And as you can see, you can even see how many people have viewed this. Already two people have viewed this just by me publishing it. So that's my click just here in this website here in incognito mode. So there you go. That gives you a sense of how Perplexity Pro works. It's a funner way, in my opinion, to go about doing research rather than having to go back and forth in threads and you're not sure you know, where you lost something earlier. At least it's all here. It's very cozy. It's all easy. In a way, you know, Notion has some elements of this, but Notion also doesn't allow you to go do the research as deep. So Perplexity is doing something really unique here in terms of documentation. So I hope that's helpful for you and it's helpful for you to create your own research documentation for your teams and for your own personal research. So have fun out there.